and welcome back YouTube to another episode of Seven Days to Die. We have survived to day three, but the night did not go untouched. They came at me at the height of a full moon, screeching and wrecking havoc in their wake, and yet I met them with spear and barricade. I swang and I swang and I swang more. I set that some bitch on fire. Well, that was a pretty intense moment. Got attacked by three feral zombies before I could even get my defenses set up. But I'm glad that they did that because as I was doing this, I didn't realize it at the time, but I was making the wrong blocks. And I was like, I think during the battle with the big zombie, I was starting to kind of realize like, why does this only have 150 HP? I'll realize it later on in the morning before dawn that I'm making the wrong blocks. So right here, I'm just kind of getting my defenses set up and trying to get ready for any further versions between the zombies that might hear me or not. Thank you for joining with me as we continue this adventure of 28 months later challenge. So into day three we go. I have to redo these here. Uh, through the excursions last night, I was attacked by a bunch of wandering zombies, and I found out that the window that I was using isn't the right one. Window plate circle full. See, I don't know if this is the correct one either, but we'll see. That's not it. Yeah, these aren't the right ones. And I'm glad I found it out now. Because if I would have done a seven days with these particular windows, I would have probably not lived. But I don't know which one's which. Maybe it's this one here. I think it's one of these right here. No, I don't think it's this one either. Hmm. Maybe this one? Give this a shot. Yeah, that's the one right here. Okay. Well, I'm glad I figured this out before I try to do anything else. Because I would have been in bad news for me last night if this was a seven days. So, fortunately, no seven days, but I was able to troubleshoot this issue. There's a few things I do want to correct, though, and I noticed that it's probably going to give me some hardships. It's this here, because they, they tend to just stop right here, and then, of course, me trying to reach over, <laughs> that's not going to work out very well. So I'm going to extend this block out. I'm going to take this off. We'll upgrade these walls here. Uh-oh. Out of juice. Right, I got my fighting tower right here, so... Ooh, snake. Get 
get some more soil. It's a chicken. Gotta be wary of him. The object of today is to try to get the base somewhat set up and in a, in a defensible position. That way I can ward off any seven days that might pop up. That way I'm not caught too off guard. Day one was extremely nerve wracking because I didn't know when seven days was going to come. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this guy here. He's a little too close for comfort. Me and my one arrow. I'm thinking that, I don't know, maybe they increased the bow distance or the twang on it. I've been missing a lot with the wood bow. Gee, I think that was all of them. Yeah, but I've noticed that, I remember back in the day, you had to use, you had a really arc your uh your arrow shots to gain distance now it's like they're pretty much spot on but i have a polymer string mod to it the like a gopher i gotta stick my head above ground to make sure there's no baddies around here i think i'm gonna spend some of this morning gathering up resources Hello. Did she just die? She did just die. Where'd my deer go? It's a little chicken. Come here, buck, buck. Now I'm getting the range down a little bit. And yes, I need to do the same thing with this. Still have a lot of uh, business to conduct inside this place here. Let me see what kind of meat I can make. Charred meat and boiled eggs. So today's episode is going to be more about getting the this base up. Of course, I might hit a few POIs just for resources. And ooh, I didn't even notice that was there. But get some resources and try to find more cooking books so I can cook some actual bacon and eggs. I need to get a forge up. I need to get... Uh, little resources for the forge. Here are these. Mmm, beer. Got yeah, 1800 dukes. That's good fun. Make sure all my weapons are reloaded. Alright, I got about 240 something stone. That should be sufficient for right now. Still doing pretty good with wood. Something bothering you? Ten water is going to be gold. Yeah, I think that I'll take that. 
inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. Okay. We got bird supplies. Fetch, fetch, fetch. All 1.1 kilometers away. We'll do the bird supplies first. Alright, we can finally afford a filter. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. I don't remember if uh let's see here. Starting with the 44 guns wrong. I don't think that this is a 44. Let's see. So I think the original price was 2250. I only do business with real customers. Let's see how much it is now. It is a 44. Excellent. All right, we'll go and check this out. Of course, like usual, we'll put a fighting tower up and ensure we don't get zerged down by zombies. I think this honestly could be the more dangerous of the quests. Because as you dig, they spawn, and they spawn like four or five per hit. Didn't even see him. I might as well go ahead and try to get him as well. Nice. And there's another one in the tree. Gonna need some food. No honey. Nada. Go ahead and take this one down and we'll start the quest. We'll see if the stump responds. Fighting tower down. Not very strong. Shit. <laughs> Jeez, that's so dangerous. Almost bit the dust on that one. That's the only downfall about the fighting towers. If they start getting swarmed, they can jump up there and kill you. I'm kind of busy. All right. I already have a serrated blade. No, I don't. Um... 762s I kind of need. There's two antibiotics. Man, there's a lot of good choices for this one. Especially the glue. But I think that defense is going to be the one I want. So we'll get the uh, 
the rounds. So taking me north is going to go deeper into the city, it looks like. Maybe residential area. West definitely takes me into the city. So let's do north. Let's see if I can find some more weapons and ammo in here. Nice. Pipe rifle. All right, I made it. Drop all this off. Actually, I'm going to get that built. Oh, great. Oh, my. I'm going to try to see if I can make the house. A wandering horde that is insane. Oh, it's locked. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Golly, this is intense. It's only day three. What are the odds that a wandering horde just, just wandered right by? That is so crazy. Of course, the door that I have need to get into is locked. Well, let's give it a test. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of right here. Okay, so what I need to do is... I'm gonna put this block down like I was going to do, but I forgot to do. Alright, now that I've got that corrected. Right. Now let's try it. There we go. This is not my design. I actually used this from uh, Guns, Nerds, and Steel's channel. Uh, I'm a big fan of his content. And he used that design in, I think, his uh, one of his series. And I just thought it was very clever, so I just used it. So I apologize for using someone else's stuff, but if it works, why break it, right? That was very scary, by the way. Like, my hands were shaking and everything. <laughs> my hands were shaking. It was shaking. I think the Duke Collector is 4x4. Four four. Oh, it's 3x3. Uh, three three. It's all Gucci. There. Got our Duke Collector. I'll finish that here in a little while. We'll at least come back and uh, get the base ready at a decent time. Let's we'll see if we can get lucky with this uh, lockpick. Oh. Come on, man. Thank you. Okay, that's not bad. I don't know if I'm able to get past him. I might as well go ahead and get a fighting block up. No, 
not bad. Now I'm stuck in a torrential downpour and deluge. It takes 5% less damage and deal 10% more damage when indoors. That would be useful. I will take that spring. Should have taken him out too. There's my bag. I don't really have to finish this one. But since I do have time, I'm gonna go ahead and, and complete this one here. What I'll do is I'll mark it, and then for sure I'll come back. All right. Mark this place right here. Loot. I got lucky enough in the very beginning of my series to find one bar, one jar of honey. But since then, I haven't found any. There. Speak of the devil. Ask it, ye shall receive. All in all, not a bad day. I did almost die earlier. Yes, I almost ended my career as a Zambi survivalist. But luckily, I was able to get away and get out of the way, and it all worked out. You must think you're pretty hot shit now. Well, you did it, so I'll honor our agreement. Mm, I think I'll take that. What other jobs you have? You have a clear zombies to the west. I got a job. We'll take that one. Okay. Alright, let's hightail it out of here and get back to the base. 
to get ready for a potential horde night. Again, I have no idea when the Blood Moon is going to take place. The only detail I probably will receive is if the sky turns red. That's the only time I'm going to know that there's something up. So, I have to be pretty much prepared and on my feet. Take some of the stuff with us. Let's see what our Duke Collectors have done. Almost got one thing of water. Not bad. Alright, where are we going to put the forge? I think my dude collector is going to go here. So I'm going to put my forge right there. There we go. I have the new forge. Let's go ahead and get these going. So I think that we're ready to go for the Horde Knight. Well, looks like a regular fandy dandy night to me. The sun has set on day three. Well, all right, YouTube, thank you very much for being part of my uh, 28 months later adventure. We got a close call today, but uh, we managed to survive the third day. A regular moon rises in the background. If you guys like what you see, give me a like and subscribe, and give me a comment down below to see how the uh, adventure is going to pan out. Will I live to see tomorrow? Will I live to see a few weeks from now? Who knows? Tell me what you all think, and I appreciate y'all being here. Until next time.